So let's see. If I open this up, I get a take folder. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, now when you want to comp a take, you just drag over the gray area. And what it's going to do is it'll play a composite of what I just did. Okay, so now I'll go down and I'll check this out. Uh, there's a hi-hat. So I can comp the same way on the hi-hat. I just grab the gray area, and there I go. To unpack these take folders, or to open them up and look at them, you click this little arrow right here. Okay, so I comp those two things together. Then what you can do, you have an option to, over here is where we open it up and close it, right? Over on this side, we can select between different takes, or we can check out the comp that we did. Okay, the comp is the composite, which means all of the swipes that we did when we were uh, comping together from uh, using the swipe tool. Okay, now the swipe tool is just built in. You just go to the gray area and swipe over it. You don't have to go to any kind of special tool. But if I go to new comp, okay, this is comp 2, I can redo this. Pretty cool, huh? So I can go back to my original comp, or go to my new comp. Once we've decided on the comp that we want, then I can do this thing called flatten. If I flatten it, it actually shows me all the places that it did crossfades. And if you get just right in between the crossfades, then you get this tool called a, a uh, junction tool. So I'm going to zoom out a bit, and I'm going to get in on that. So this is the junction tool. Basically, when you get it looking like that, like an I-beam, you can move these crossfades around. Pretty slick. Okay, so that's basically choosing where the crossfade's going to happen between the different takes. Now, if you flatten and merge, essentially it creates a whole new audio file out of the uh, take that you just comped. Now, once I'm done with all that jazz, and I get my, you know, get my comps together, you know, merge them together, do whatever I'm going to do. Um, generally, if I was going to be incorporating this into my workflow, if my drums are all comped together and look fine, and they're, you know, it's a four-bar loop, and it looks good. Okay, first I'll take these out of record, because we're not recording anymore. And I'll select them all. I'll hit Command-F, packs them into a folder, and now, see, I can option-drag them. I can do whatever I want in terms of arranging these drums around. And if you look inside, the comp is still there. Double click on the background, double click on the folder, it opens it up. Double click on the background, closes it back up. Okay? Now it's important to note that 1 through 5, audio 1 through 5, are being dedicated to this folder. So you don't want to use those again in your arrangement. They're, being, they're dedicated to what's happening in this folder. If you want to unpack it, then you just go to region, folder, unpack folder, and create new tracks. There you go. I was talking about overlapping regions because I had some crossfades going on. Anyway, that's kind of uh, how I end up doing multi-take recording and then comping between the different takes. Now, when you're doing multi-take recording that way, they come up automatically. All of them are going to show, you know, take one, take two, take three, take four. Um, what you can also do is you can pack take folders. Um, if you have a multi-take session that you brought in from, say, Pro Tools or something like that, you can also go into Folder, and you can pack a take folder. And then that way you can uh, incorporate something like your Pro Tools session into your Logic workflow. So anyway, there's a whole bunch of information for you. Um, just a quick recap, we took a, a uh, EXS24, I assigned it to a multi-out instrument. 
I assigned the kick and the uh, and various elements to go out the multi out, and um, then I created a multi track recording and then went back in and did uh, comping. So anyway, there you go, and hopefully that made it under ten minutes. All right, see you in a bit. Bye bye. So you may have noticed that in that video, uh, the kick and the snare were actually merged on a one track, and that's because I didn't group the outputs properly in the EXS24. Um, but as far as the multi-take um, comping and stuff, uh, I think you should still be able to figure that out from the video. Um, I'll be happy to explain anything that's confusing if you guys try this the same results. Um, but it's like 11.30, and I'm going to need to uh, hit the sack here pretty soon. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be talking to you most likely via email and comments and messages and everything else. Uh, great to see 800 folks. 800 folks. Yes. Uh, my legion grows stronger every day. Um, and I uh, haven't decided on a funky video to post yet, so um, saving it for the right time. Maybe 900. Maybe 1,000. Ciao.